What's up guys? Welcome back to Shooting Gallery New England. I'm Joe. Got a little bit of 22 history for you today. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, like I said, guys, we got 22 history. This is the Marlin Model 60. Back in the, I'm guessing maybe it was in 1960. I don't really, I don't know that, you know, Google's your friend. Um, this is the predecessor to the Ruger 1022. Um, back in the day, everybody and their mother had this rifle. Um, they're still being in production today. It's in 22 long rifles, some models we're allowed to take 22 longs and shorts. I don't know if they made a 22 Magnum, but today uh, this is made in North Haven, Connecticut, which is surprising because it's a high cap mag and in a state where, um, to be quite honest, magazine capacity is not, you know, loved. Uh, we got a wood walnut stock. Um, it's a tube fed design. You have a bolt release right here. It's semi-automatic with buckhorn sights. Um, I've never messed with the sights. I uh, I don't even know how many rounds I have through this. Uh, this is probably one of my first 22 rifles I ever bought and really got into 22 shooting. Uh, to be quite honest, I haven't shot this in about three years because I bought a 1022 and this became a safe queen. But we're gonna shoot it today and uh, we'll tell you a little bit about it. Let's uh, load this up here. One of the main reasons why I switched from this to the 1022 is this guide rod and this tube, I just kind of got annoyed with reloading it every 15 shots. Um, this is a 15 shot one in the pipe gun. Uh, today we got some CCI mini mags, the uh, Swamp People version, they're copper plated hollow points. Uh, good fast run stuff, six here. Like I said before, 15 plus one capacity. Um, I've taken this thing on so many coyote hunting trips, uh, plink in. When I teach classes sometimes before I add the 1022, I would bring this along and it's just so user friendly. Everybody that has shot this say, oh wow, I really enjoyed this. I'll fix that later. But anyway, uh, this is the one detriment I'd have to say to this rifle that I personally don't enjoy because because I'm so spoiled with Ruger 1022 mags and stuff like that and the availability of them. Uh, but, you know, for a fun all around gun, these things can be had for well south of 200. I've seen them on sale for $175 at some big box stores. Uh, the good part is they are still making this, so if you gotta get parts, uh, or if you wanted to you know, upgrade a stock to a, a polymer stock or something like that, you have no, e it's very easy to swap them out. Uh, I don't even know how long, I'm just gonna wait till I see. Eh, sounds about right. Yeah, pop this in. Make sure the notch right here is underneath the tube. Alrighty. Now when loading this, obviously since there's not one in the chamber, you hit the bolt release, okay? Still not one in the chamber. You still have to physically rack the thing. Now it's hot. Cross bolt safety. And uh, I don't even know the trigger pull weight, but it is very light. Good for a 10, for 1022. I'm thinking about that today. Um, it's a very good uh, trigger pull for when it was created. Let's... Uh, yeah, how this is going over here. <coughs> Smoky. Yep. As you can tell, this is an insanely accurate gun. Uh, now that I just mag dumped this again, we're gonna fill it up. Yeah, this is the one thing I never really cared for uh, when re for loading for this. Um, 
just spent too much time reloading when I could just load a couple mags. That's why a lot of people, when the 1022 was made, it killed the sales from Marlin. Um, but uh, I know for a fact they still make this and they make it actually in a stainless steel model for people who can't handle, you know, and say if you live in the southern states, you sweat a lot, you don't want to rust the blue finish. This is a blued finish, um, but this is, everyone says the AR is America's rifle, but ARs weren't really around as much in the 60s and even before that when this came around. Everybody had them. They're uh, notorious for showing up in police evidence lockers and stuff like that because everyone had them. So, you know, you get those nefarious types out there that decide, oh, grandpappy has this behind his door. You know, I don't suggest using 22 for home defense, but, you know, if this is all you have, you get some of those velocitors or something like that out there or uh, CCI stangers. You can uh, pack a punch. Oop, too much. All right, one too many. This is packed full. All right, that's good. Now, let's see if we can get a little bit more accurate with this. And we're live. I've never had to adjust the sights on this because I haven't really taken it farther out than maybe, I'd say 100 yards. I've hit it, I hit 200 one time, just, you know, out of sheer curiosity with open sights. And it is incredibly accurate for being such an old gun. But let's try and take out a couple of these. Oh, got that. 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 Let's see if I can get that small one again. Yep. 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 Yeah, we're out. All right, let's. I'm gonna load this up one more time, and uh, look at that smoke. You know, every man that sees that just has a smile on his face. This thing is incredibly hot right now because it's like 70 degrees outside. And uh, like we said before today, we got a lot of videos going right now and our guns are smoking hot. Just incredibly hard, hot to touch. Now I'd have to say, I've tried to make this as positive as possible, but I am spoiled with the 1022. So again, this is, doesn't get cleaned that often, does not get shot that often. Um, the biggest issue I have with this is taking it down. It is like, like the high point almost, it's a little bit of a pain to take down. My first time taking this down, I didn't, so no one sold me a manual with it. And there wasn't a lot of YouTube videos around that were good enough to show you how to take them apart. Um, we will have a video, how to field strip and take down a Marlin Model 60. And, uh, but it, it is a, a little bit laborious. It's not something I'm fond of, so. But again, back in the day, people were a little bit more, ready to take stuff down and clean everything up and uh but once the 1022 came about with that such an easy takedown for field strip and maintenance that it, it almost made these obsolete so load this up one more time and we'll give you our final opinion one more this is yeah, I think that'll be, that'll be about it. Call it 15, I don't know. Alrighty. Bolt release. Charging it up. Uh, see what we can get at. I'm gonna go for the big small plate again. Got it, nicked it, I nicked it. Uh, yep never gets old well guys look at that carbon oh my god uh this thing has been abused so 
again i pull out every once in a while just want to have a, have a little fun uh but yeah the model model 60 you know for people who can't afford a 1022 this is very very good option um like i said tubular fed so if you ever have an assault weapons ban these are usually exempt so you can still have a high cap high cap um rifle and 22 long rifle take them hunting teach your kids or loved ones how to shoot you can't go wrong with a marlin model 60 so like i said guys hope you guys enjoyed the video today and uh thanks for watching